Okay, we're going to talk about blown speakers, how to tell if they are actually blown, and a couple of tips about them, and also how to find out um, which wire should go to which so that the positive is going to the positive and negative to the negative, and so on. Um, we will not be using a multimeter uh, and so forth like people will um, ask us to do. Most people don't have one laying around. So we would be using something that everybody has at their house, and that would be a 9-volt battery. You do not have to have rips in your speakers to let you know they're bad um, or blown. If the rip is on the paper, you can simply use uh, silicone gel. So I will let you know that the one here with the tan gasket is the one that is blown. The other one is not. It's a replacement. Okay, so the first thing to do is to find out if it's blown is with no more pressure than what you would use to find out um, if you were testing somebody's pulse. No more pressure than that is to put your hand like a spider thing in the speaker and your thumb actually touches as well. And you push down again slightly and you look for the edges of the speakers to flex, you know, kind of like a speaker looks, you know, when it's pumping out some bass, it should move in and out. This one isn't giving at all. So right away I know it's blown. And you can also go underneath the speaker and the sides and it's the same way on the other side. I'm just reaching in almost to the center, but not quite. And I'm using my thumbs on the top. And I'm trying very lightly to move the speaker up and down. Okay, don't use your, like this, I'm pushing real hard on the bottom. Don't do that. That's not making the outside of the speaker do anything over here. That's just simply trying to poke your finger through it. So... If uh, the outside, again, the coil, is what it's called, the voice coil, is not moving up and down freely, then that's a sign that your speaker is blown. On a good speaker, if you were to do this part, you can see the edges are actually moving down as we push them. If we go underneath and on top, you can definitely see it moving in and out like a speaker should. Again, no more pressure than if you were um, checking someone's pulse or something. So it's going in and out like it should. Another way is I'm going to use uh, a chord. This, you know, playing music. This here would be for like a sound system or a guitar amp or whatever. The very tip of it is the positive. Okay and everything else is ground. So if you don't know which way is which on the speaker, here's the good speaker. On the back, I'm not even gonna look. Um, I'm going to touch the positive to one of the uh, terminals. Okay, over here. And then I'm just gonna lay the other part of the cable on the other terminal. Okay, so it sounds good. Do I know which is which yet? No. As far as positive and negative? No, but we have to find that out and we will with the battery. Okay, the bad speaker compared to that one will sound like, let's find the terminals on the speaker all the way around to the other side. Okay, so again we place the tip or just whatever you have, if you have bare wires laying there, fine. Touch it like this. Very wimpy. Yes, blown speakers will still make sound, the majority of them, but they will be horrible compared to... And we can see this one. So 
the sound difference is quite a thing. Um, if you were actually using a speaker cable like this, never use a guitar cord. Um, a lot of people in their vehicles and so forth will use um, lamp cords, lamp wire, which is fine. And uh, we can find out, number one, with this for you folks that are using um, these for a speaker cabinet that has like four speakers in it. Um, you could plug that in and actually do our battery test, which is coming up and make sure all speakers are flexing inward or outward the same way um, so you don't have speakers that are mismatched. So you can find out if they're wired correctly very easily. Okay, Okay. let's do our battery test. We need to find out which is positive, which is negative. Um, it doesn't matter um, which way you try this. You look at the speaker and see if it's pushing out or if it's sucking in, um, but we have to find the uh, positive and negative. The small part of the battery, the small terminal, not this big round one, but the small one will be positive and will show a positive plus sign on it somewhere. The other side, not usually. So we will be putting the battery on the speaker terminals Okay, it doesn't matter, but we know that the little one is positive. And if we watch the speaker touch these to the terminals, we are looking to see if the speaker is pushing out, which would be that our positive and negative are correct. And we keep track of that. We can even mark it um, on the sides here, which one's positive, which one's negative. A lot of these will have like a red dot on them for the positive, but these don't. So it's a good way to t test which is which. Okay, I'm going to put the positive on, then I'm going to put the negative on. I don't know which is which. Okay, here I go. The speaker is sucking in, which means I have it backwards. So I'm going to turn the battery around the other way and the speaker should push out. So it's actually pushing out. Okay, that means I have it right. So I can go ahead and make my mark and know that the uh, one with the little guy over here on this side is positive so I just mark that as positive and I will know that's positive for everything and same thing on the uh, blown speaker you will hear quite the difference and just the audio of it that's the difference in sound so again uh, having some sound um, is normal in a blown speaker. A blown speaker doesn't necessarily mean that it gives you zero sound. Um, so this one is baked in, um, depending on how much your speakers cost. If they're a two to three hundred dollar speaker, it's fine to go have it reconed, and they replace everything on here and make it good again for a fraction of the cost. Uh, but you got to put shipping in there too, so uh, you determine whether you should buy a used speaker or have your other one reconed um, to save a little bit of money. Um, so that's something to think about. Okay, so if you are using uh, for your vehicles um, or any application, uh, what I like to call lamp wire, which are just two cables it's just wire like this you can actually touch just hook up the terminals you know to your speaker don't matter which is which but then on the other end just use your battery to the positive and negative and it will show you which is which if your speaker pushes out or sucks in so you want it to push outward when it's connected 
you know, to the positive and then the negative. Um, and that will just tell you and it takes all the guesswork out of it again. So you don't need any meters and so forth uh, analyzing equipment. The battery trick um, always does the job. And again, for those musicians out there that have multiple uh, speakers in one cabinet, uh, you can just touch it to the end of your speaker cable and check it out, check out all four speakers or eight speakers, how many you ever have in a cabinet and look at them all at once okay and there's one more trick if you have your speakers inside of a cabinet and you have the metal grill over the front of it that is used to protect the speakers um, the speakers might be really close to that grill um, if you get replacement speakers or you get the uh, grills that you buy separately and put one grill over top of each speaker and it is an aftermarket product it didn't come that way um, I generally on the back of the grill will put like um, blush you know from a women's makeup kit put blush or rouge or something anything that's a powder on the back of the grill that is you know going to touch possibly the voice coil of the speaker um, so yeah this part um, because the speaker will go out a certain amount it's called excursion is how far the speaker goes out you can actually test it with the battery because uh, when you put that battery on there it's going to take it to its full amount that it will pop out even with the loudest bass that you could put in here it's going to take it to its full amount that it should go out. Um, so other speakers go out further than others. But if you have the uh, makeup or what have you, the powder on the back of the speaker grill and check this with some heavy bass or just with the um, battery and see if it leaves a mark on your speaker because it pushes out too much that it does hit that speaker grill uh, you'll want to get a different speaker grill or put some washers in between the speaker like right here with your uh, screws uh, put a couple washers there to raise up the speaker grill a little higher so this does not touch it because if that's slamming into the back of the grill a whole bunch of times it's going to wear your speaker out really fast again so it will physically show the makeup or what have you powder on the speaker right here okay so just a little something to think of okay so that is a quick tutorial on your speakers um, hope you found it useful and y'all stay groovy all right later